It is a common practice with some theologians to brand Kiliism as a modern theory, not remembering that, in its restored form, even justification by faith is comparatively a modern truth. Both justification by faith and Kiliism are taught in the New Testament and were therefore the belief of the early church. These doctrines, like all other essential truths, went into obscurity during the Dark Ages. The Reformers did not restore all features of doctrine, and along with justification by faith, they retained the Romish notion that the Church is the Kingdom, fulfilling the Davidic Covenant, and appointed to conquer the world by bringing it under the authority of the Church. This idea has prevailed in spite of the clear, uncomplicated testimony of the New Testament that this age must end in unprecedented wickedness. Though the kingdom occupies so large a place in the sacred text, the theme of the kingdom has been more misunderstood and its terminology more misapplied than any other one subject in the Bible. This is directly due to the failure so inherent and far-reaching in covenant theology to recognize the dispensational aspect of divine revelation. Truth concerning the Messianic expectation as that is set forth in the Old Testament does not imply that the Kingdom is the Church, nor does the New Testament, with its objective centered in Heaven, teach that the Church is the Kingdom. Similarly, the earthly Kingdom that according to the Scriptures had its origin in the covenant made to David which is mundane and literal in its original form and equally as mundane and literal in uncounted references to it in all subsequent scriptures which trace it on to its consummation, is by theological legitimate <laughs> metamorphosed into a spiritual monstrosity in which an absent king, seated on his father's throne in heaven, is accepted in lieu of the theocratic monarch of David's line seated on David's throne in Jerusalem. Again, through careless inattention, many modern writers refer to the kingdom of heaven as though it were heaven, and in spite of the absurdities and contradictions which arise when these terms are thus confused.